Hey yo guys, me up Sark, and welcome to Less Than Our Survival Noob to Pro series on how to play episode 2, whatever guys, let's get outside and we're gonna be going now to crash plane event because it's still there, as you can see right now we're a little bit hungry but I think that's gonna be just fine, let's get out of here right now, let's go to plane crash event, I think we will need to heal there and I don't really know how many zombies is there but my advice is for you guys, take one weapon, hopefully that's gonna be enough, I'm not really sure, it's been like really almost a year since I went to this plane crash event but let's go guys let's run to this plane crash event and i really advise you guys go with the with an empty inventory because there's gonna be lots of lots of stuff so you have to go there with an empty inventory and as you can see right now here on the right we see a zombie horde coming it basically says zombie from the infected forest can break down your house you need to upgrade the walls and set up traps to protect yourself from the enemies so the point is guys that's why we're not building walls because every 24 hours they can destroy your level one and level two walls so basically you need level three walls and to get level three walls you gotta grind a lot in this game so in the beginning of the game especially when you start out you don't need walls walls are needed to protect yourself from raiders because raiders can uh, destroy your walls and blah 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 and steal your stuff but we're gonna talk about that in the future so basically when we are here guys let's start picking it up i think there can be only one wolf or whatever spawning if i remember that properly so let's pick up everything guys in the beginning, pick up everything as you can see, and then I'm gonna tell you what you don't need to be picking up. I mean, stuff like rope and blah, 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 they're cool and everything. Like, for example, these bolts, there's definitely gonna be more important stuff than bolts. And this plane crash event is only for the beginner players. I just keep picking up all, and let's equip these shoes, guys. For now, military set is pretty good. It's the almost the best set here in the game. But it's a bit broken, so whatever. Let's just seriously pick up everything as we can see. And then we will start deleting stuff that we don't need. We can use hammer as a tool as well. So probably we're going to be using hammer as a tool. I mean, there is another uh, cool uh, usage of the hammer. It's like we can craft a gunsmith bench. But for now, gunsmith bench doesn't have any use as well. So whatever. Let's get rid of these R card. Definitely because it doesn't do anything. Then we're going to be getting rid of these ball bearings. These balls. Balls are great, guys. Balls are used to craft like these chests. We will need balls to craft chests. But for now, guys, balls don't do anything. I don't remember if I opened the chest. Yes, indeed, I've opened it. So let's open up another here right now, guys. We seriously, all we have to do here is pick up everything. Clear this area from all the stuff. Phones, guys, might be important. So I seriously, I would suggest you take these ball, uh, take the phone, guys, instead of the ball bearings. Because you can get phones are used for the recycler don't really know at what level you can craft the recycler guys so watch watch is good for the dealer but again guys watch is not that important so do not pick up watch i'm also going to be leaving gold behind because there is more important stuff so recycler is at level 32 and it's pretty hard to craft i guess but i mean it's not that hard i need three oak planks so but the point is we're definitely going to be crafting recycler recycler is important for the future stuff in the game okie dokie i started starving so let's actually eat a little bit we restored our health from this big bean scan so that's good we restored our hunger not only health so let's keep picking up more stuff and we've got a bandage so now i'm thinking about let's get rid of gold right now guys gold is really that not important and let's take the beans so what you have to what you can do is just take these beans here and just swap them put them in your quick slot and basically it here we go another hat and another thing anything so what we are gonna be getting rid of guys let's place let's equip the thing the hat let's take this and let, we definitely have to pick up the tactical armor because in the beginning of the game it's cool but now i'm thinking what could we get rid of i think we can just eat one bacon guys whatever this we're gonna restore our hunger and let's take this so we're gonna have almost full set here not full set but we have full military set it's not the best but let's keep it for something else oh there's still more stuff that we can unlock very great this is like seriously one of the best events for the beginners i think you can get this event one more time there's another cleaver and another jerky beef which would be really really amazing and there's a zombie a zombie have just spawned so whatever let's shred the zombie i think we can get get rid of rope guys we're gonna be able to find more rope after rope is not really that hard and i mean this jerk is great as well let's eat the jerky but for now we definitely need duct tape duct tape is gonna great and I mean bandages bandages are gonna be awesome as well let's pick up more bandages another baked bean just let's keep doing like this just let's pick Pick up the big bean and that's it and crowbar guys we have to pick up this crowbar crowbar is op i think we can just swap it for tactical hat guys because this tactical hat is almost completely broken guys even though this set is great but like it's gonna break from it's gonna break like from couple of hits i don't even know where we're gonna be able to use it guys so let's get rid of this even though this set is cool but guys it's 
gonna break super soon just for a couple of hits so in my opinion we can get rid of this and pick up crawlbar because crawlbar is really great it costs like six or what eight iron i'm not really sure let's actually go and check out at what level we can unlock crawlbar more duct tape duct tape is amazing guys let's pick up duct tape so you need seven crawlbar uh, seven iron to in order to craft that thing thing so far at least i give you an idea of what you have to pick up here and again we have more baked beans so let's keep picking up baked beans i'm not really sure but i think for you guys it might be a bit different uh, loot in these boxes there's seriously guys lots of and lots of boxes and wish we could have more space in order to pick up everything let's keep taking more of those I mean these rubber parts and, and and rope guys is seriously important but other stuff here is more important than rope uh, this is still pretty good pretty in good condition I mean it's completely broken when you will be further in the game it won't have any use like you wouldn't be really using this tactical set anywhere but for now let's pick it up because it might be useful guys and we found the Glock and Glock is really amazing guys like seriously no joke Glock is really 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 great let's eat the meat as well whatever and Glock, guys, here is seriously the best thing you think you can get, like, for everything. Just never use Glock. Like, here, seriously, in the beginning of the game, there's nowhere you can use the Glock. So save it, guys, if you used it right now. If you used your Glock, then that's pretty, pretty sad. But if you haven't used your Glock, yeah, do not use it. Save it for Alpha Bunker. We're going to be doing the guide for Alpha Bunker after. Let's get rid of the pants because they're almost broken. But like I said, this Glock is great. You're going to be keeping it in your chest. Do not use it because when I started playing this game myself, I used my Glock like basically on wolves and everything. On basically all random crap that you don't have to use it for. But I am here, guys, to stop you from being noob like I was. Do not use your Glock in the beginning of the game because it's really great weapon for Alpha Bunker. And you will need it to finish Alpha Bunker. Without it, it's going to be pretty hard. We will need to craft bows. But whatever, we're going to be doing another uh, playthrough on Alpha Bunker when we will progress there to get to Alpha Bunker. Because basically, my main goal in this game is to get to Alpha Bunker as soon as possible. So basically, there is a lot of wood. We could also chop down the wood and blah, 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 and pick up some other stuff. But the point is, guys, there is nothing else to be picked up. It's a really, really great, guys. But seriously, guys, if you haven't went to Plane Crash Event, go there, pick up everything. Because I think you're going to be able to get this Glock. Just do not use this Glock, guys. Seriously, do not use this. It's your friend. But don't use it for killing wolves or farming. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Only now military backpack, machete, 50 coins. So this is actually a pretty good deal, I would say. I mean, you can get military backpack right now in the game, guys. For those who don't know how to get it, it's like seriously good. If you're playing this game, I would advise you get it, guys. Like seriously, 219 if you have this deal for yourself. I seriously think, guys, you should get it. Like, I think it's really great for me. I'm not going to be buying this because I'm trying to do a free-to-play here account. I'm not going to be getting it, but you're going to speed up your process of the game a lot. Like, seriously, the military backpack here is really hard to get, like, for the beginning. We're going to be grinding a lot to get this military backpack. Like, even I think in a week, we're not going to be able to get it. And if you can get it, like, seriously, this is my advice. Buy it if you can. It's really great. You're going to speed up your progress tremendously. But we're not going to be buying it just because, guys, we are free to play here. I don't want to be buying it because I already spent some money in the, my main account. So I'm not going to be spending anything here. I just want to show people that it's possible to progress in this game without spending a single penny. But I would really advise you to guys get that thing because it's amazing. Well, whatever. Let's get back. For those who didn't know, shoes also give you some speed. So with these shoes, we're going to be able to run a bit faster. As you can see, like it gives like we have 43 speed and with this it's 42. But I think it's not really that much important. Whatever. Let's craft another chest because we seriously do not have enough space right now. So basically, let's leave these set. Let's take this. Let's take that, guys. Let's craft another 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 box and we're really gonna be able to put everything one day guys i will maybe sort everything out but basically this is what we're gonna be doing let's leave the rest of these items place your glock here and do not touch it because i used it guys and i know how it's tempting to use the glock you can actually use the glock in 1.8.5 version when you use weapons except there's grenade launcher it it uh, takes durability but when you're using the glock it doesn't take any durability so you can basically keep shooting it just does like this guys it does 20 damage per hit but save it like seriously guys believe me save this gun i can't mark enough that you should be saving that so let's check out actually how many planks we've done we've done seven planks because i'm still recording this episode strict away after i finished with the with the previous episode so i think we already can start crafting some coal but i do think that well whatever let's actually split that up i don't really know how to do this 
properly but let's do this we just need some coal in the beginning so let's just guys craft some coal and did our carrots grow nope guys our carrots still did not grow we're gonna be going outside and farming some wood and farming some seeds and this is gonna be just important so let's guys craft all of that i think this might be enough for the beginning let's go to green area i'm not gonna be bringing anything else let's just bring some water because we might get dehydrated there i think two bottles of water is gonna be more than enough there is nothing else that we can bring we're gonna probably get rid of this hatchet there we're not gonna be mining stuff or maybe let's mine stone in this area we'll see how much space we can take i'm not really sure how much we can carry there how much wood we're gonna get there but the point is we're gonna be unlocking their chests you can also keep this all pickup truck there's also great tip guys for example if you use your bottles of water you can keep them in this truck because you can't move this truck yet in the game and it's just basically there and i would advise you to keep your trash like your trash cans because after you eat you have one empty can so we can just place it here did we get another event okay okay like i just talked about that guys we got the humanitarian eight box event like whatever this is like basically an airdrop and i seriously guys you can go there but it's you're just gonna get their one weapon and the point is it just uses your energy to go there so for me for the sakes for the sake of recording this video i don't want to go there but if you have like free time to go there just go there and just sneak to this airdrop event i would love to actually go and show you i just want to show you what you can get in the airdrop because there might be some goodies to help you out i think you can go there to the first airdrop but like it's really not that good it just wastes your energy you can walk there for 30 minutes when you're just playing this game on yourself just uh, make your character to walk and he's just gonna get to that area but whatever let's get there i just want to guys show you how you can get this airdrop event if you don't want if you go there yourself and you for example can't get it if it's too hard if you keep fighting zombies i'm just gonna show you how you basically have to do it and plus we're gonna be able to get some grass so basically start picking up grass here as well i mean my tip would be pick up grass pick up everything you see because all that is gonna be useful for you and basically go in the middle go like this diagonally and you're gonna be able to see so there's gonna be the toxic spitter just hit him and move because he will start spitting at you and it's not that bad here we go we just killed him and leveled up let's take this b card i mean it's at least take the b card we, but we definitely need an alpha card in order to get to alpha bunker bunker bravo is still is in the game but the, it doesn't do anything too much so whatever this is like basically humanitarian event so there's usually one toxic spitter that's attacking you just try to sneak on this area there might be some zombie just usually sneak to this pick it up there might be some great stuff let's check it out what we're gonna get usually you get a great weapon well we got a crowbar this is like probably the worst weapon we can get from the event and let's take the coupon because it is going to be useful these wirings and transistors might be important guys but like in the beginning of the game you're not going to be using them and right now we're going to go in the forest to farm for some plant fibers and other stuff so we're not going to be going there let's just start picking up this and grass guys we're picking up grass for grass and also for seeds because you can find seeds here and seeds are going to be your best friend right now especially in the beginning of the game because there's there is almost no other proper way to heal yourself except getting seeds well i'm not even going to be spiting the zombie because i mean we can kill him easily guys but the point is it's just going to destroy our durability i just want to go in the forest and grind there a little bit so, okay okay let's run there right now and after this i think i will make my character walk back home and we're gonna wrap up the episode there but we still have a lot of stuff to do in the forest so let's go in the forest and i want to just show you basically how you have to grind in the forest because there might be some tips and tricks so whatever there's already a guy that there's already a dead guy okay okay there's a player guys and this is a bot so basically start fighting him it's pretty easy to kill them it depends on what they have what weapon they have but in the green area it's basically pretty easy to kill them so we got a chopper we'll definitely pick this up pick this up guys it's very important it's to craft your chopper and chopper is basically everything in this game so let's pick it up guys and i would like to take these five metal scraps because metal scraps are pretty cool so whatever we're not gonna be picking up anything else from this guy he has a backpack but we don't care about this and there is a puppy guys we have to pick it up as well so let's get rid of this bunker bravo card we're gonna be able to get it after i guess for now it's not really that important guys believe me let's pick up the poppy in a box we're gonna be able to use this poppy after but it's really not that important for now in the beginning of the game so this is the bunker password if you want to get the bunker alpha but again it's not that important because we're not going to alpha bunker so let's start chopping down the wood and in this area guys i wouldn't advise it to hit auto because there's a lot of zombies and you will need to fight them okay okay so my inventory is full and i have to start getting rid of the stuff i think i will get rid of my pickaxe because we don't 
have any more space for wood and we came here for wood guys because wood is pretty much important and also we're getting here experience as you can see close to the map on the down we're getting experience and with this experience guys you can basically go here and check out all the skills okie dokie the wolf has started attacking us let's just shred the wolf Okay, we shredded the wolf. He has some stuff, but we literally don't have any more space. That's why I don't like going to airdrop event and then coming here because we do not have a lot of space. But if you bought that military backpack, now you would have a lot more space. So that's why I say that military backpack is great. So let's just eat this. And at the same time, we're going to heal ourselves a little bit. The leather. Leather is pretty great, guys. Let's pick up leather because leather in the beginning of the game is really pretty much important. So let's get rid of this hatchet. It's almost broken anyways. Let's pick up all the grass that we see. So basically, we're getting the experience here and let's go to passive skills. So you can get motorcycle driver skill here in the forest area. So it's going to be your friend. At least in 1.8.5, the only way to get motorcycle driving skill is by grinding in the wooden area. And whenever you get your new skill, like for example, now we have 10%. When you will get to 100%, you will be able to randomly acquire one skill. And there is a little slight chance that you might get the driver skill. because And driver skill here is really important in the game because you won't be able to drive chopper. And chopper is like one of the most important things in this game so you definitely have to farm a lot in the forest guys especially in the beginning of the game if there's still no other way how to get the driver's skill or there's a box we can open up the box because there might be some duct tape so we're gonna be able to one shot this guy we're gonna do like 51 damage if i'm not mistaken here go we do 51 damage these roaming zombies are easy to kill let's shred another dude and let's open up this box for some duct tape because if there's gonna be some duct tape i think i'm definitely gonna be picking that up it's just that I don't know where. So that's definitely, we've got some duct tape now. But what we're going to be substituting that for? For another hatchet. I think, guys, we don't really have that much space. But duct tape is really amazing. Even if it's only one duct tape, guys. Duct tape is really great. We came here to farm seeds. And I just came here not really farm that much. Uh, but to more like show you how it's done. How you have to do this. Definitely pick up plant fibers. When you're here, your friend is plant fibers. So pick up a lot of plant fibers. Open up these boxes by when you're sneaking. Don't attract too many zombies. And you should be totally fine. Well, uh, let's put it back in our quick slot. Quick slot is the best. Was it? Okay, okay. That's just a C card again, guys. We don't care about this C card. Well, I don't have any more space to get wood. And I don't think we're going to be getting any more wood. Let's just actually drink a little bit more. So my inventory is full. There's nothing else to pick up unless we craft something else. Plus, we got a stack of stone. So that's great, guys. Let's walk back home right now so we are back home guys and we're again hungry let's just chuck down this one thingy thing i think you should probably be saving your food but whatever i'm just gonna eat it because i don't want to be dying here in this game so we got few coals guys we got four coals so that is really great so let's start using more coals and now you can start using these coals to smell these planks because this is the most efficient way so get your coals first and start smelting your planks for the coals you need only 10 planks to get stack of coal so whatever but firstly let's start leaving all these items back here in the chests and seriously put your chopper wheel guys because you will really really need it and you need to get you need to get a dog crate in the in order to get your doggy but to get that dog you need to craft the dog crate first and you need level 10 so we still don't have level 10 i think in the beginning of the game you can also get a puppy here close to your house at least that's what i've heard i'm not really sure i didn't get it here but uh, whatever, that's not really that much important, guys. Let's craft another chest because we're seriously running out of space pretty quickly here. We're getting richer and richer, guys, with every second. So let's craft this chest here. And let's leave the rest of the items here in the chest. So let's actually split it up, guys. And let's make 10 carrots in each. So you see, guys, there's 10 carrots. Let's actually place 10 carrots over here. And the rest we can just split them up equally. I mean, uh, carrots won't grow more than 10 because 10 seeds is 20 carrots. So they won't grow more than 20. But at the same time, let's split them up uh, for the sakes of having carrots. So we are getting closer and closer to go to going in Alpha Bunker. Just firstly, we have to check out. We will have to craft lots of weapons and we will have to have more bandages. Let's already check out how many bandages we got. We have seven bandages, guys. Do not use them right now in the game. They are really great. Save them for Alpha Bunker. That's where you will need them the most. And there's campfires. Pretty good, blah, blah. I don't think we need anything else here except... Except, except CB radio, guys. We'll need to craft CB radio pretty soon. You will need to assemble it, but that's pretty easy. We're going to be assembling it a bit after, but we'll, we'll need to craft our melting furnace. So let's probably start crafting melting furnace because we will need, we will need definitely to craft the rain catcher ASAP, guys. So I'm not really sure what we're going to be crafting. Is this or that? So let's craft the rain catcher, guys, because rain catcher is going to be a bit more important than wood without rain catcher, guys. We can't survive here and we're going to have lots of problems. So let's craft the rain catcher here in the game. One one rain catcher is gonna be plenty enough. I think we can craft max too, but one rain catcher is totally enough. Even in my main account, I still have only one rain catcher, guys, and that's totally.
oddly enough. Oh no, th I didn't catch the rain catcher. It's the freaking shower, guys. I'm total idiot, guys. Don't be like me. Don't be like Happy Stark. Be actually smart. But whatever. Uh, shower is also important. I was just talking and I uh, forgot actually what I'm talking about, guys. So this is gonna be the rain catcher. Let's craft the rain catcher close to here. After that, you can move these, but you can't move walls. You can move all the furniture here, but you can't move the walls. So whatever, let's start getting some more water. So basically you just have to place their empty bottle of water. Let's place an empty bottle here and in 10 minutes we will get a full bottle of water. So pretty, pretty neat thingy. So let's start crafting a furnace here as well because furnace is gonna be really, really, really useful. I think we can craft it only on on the ground. Oh yeah, we can craft it here. So let's place it on the ground, guys. And we will be able to start getting here iron bars. But for one iron bar, we need two iron ores and with iron after the iron ore we will also need a lot of coal so that's why i suggest you start getting coal soon in the game because we will need a lot of coal for carrots when carrots will grow guys you will need to cook carrots here with coal instead of planks you're just gonna put here uh, carrots and everything is gonna be just just great we also don't have the uh, mid dryer. Mid dryer is gonna be unlocked at level 14, but that's gonna be pretty easy to get. So, guys, we're actually preparing to go to Alpha Bunker. For those who don't know, where's Alpha Bunker? Just want to get outside and show you where's Alpha Bunker. Well, this episode was a bit longer than the previous one, but uh, there is lots of stuff to show you guys. So, so there's Alpha Bunker, guys. But now we can't go because you will be able to go there only when you have Alpha card. So don't even go there when you don't have it. You will need to have like basically card that says A. But we will be able to get it in like Pine Woods or like whatever in one of these areas. We can kill zombie and zombie might drop this card. So we're gonna get that card then we're gonna go there and then we will need the password then we will need a password to get the alpha bunker but you can get this password in cb radio or i suggest you joining the official discord of last door north or join my discord link is going to be in the in the description there you can get passwords people usually share passwords there of the of the bunker alpha because sometimes you might forget it but whatever guys this is another topic once again where we're gonna go to alpha bunker so make sure to check out noob to pro series of last day north just click here on first card but if you want to check out how i'm playing on my main account just click here on the second card and check out my epic raid i'm also live streaming every single day plus uploading videos so you're definitely not gonna be bored just hit that subscribe button to not miss anything and on my channel i've played such games like subnautica outlast dying light gothic series so definitely guys you're not gonna be bored just hop over my channel and have a great time